Vercel V0 is absolutely cracked. In less than 10 minutes, without having any single landing page, I went from zero to four interesting landing pages that I couldn't have even dreamt of designing myself. I mean, I have very terrible front-end skills, and this is a system which can design in TypeScript, Next.js, React.js, and I mean, like this is the 10x front-end developer that you would have wished to be. And in this video, I'm going to show you what is the prompt that I used and how you can use it and create your own front end design components let's dive into we're going to use the latest v0 from vercel vercel is like the javascript deployment company like for front end uh, this is a new feature that has got typescript react nextjs and a bunch of other things it can generate ui run code you can ask coding questions you can ask it to explain this is a chat interface you have to accept and start you will get a set of messages i think less than 10 or something like that and i'm going to just ask creating landing pages first create a landing page for a website that can collect and display testimonials. This is like a micro SaaS. I've seen a bunch of people doing it. So all I want is like the ability to collect feedback and then display it. I think it did not get it 100% correctly like how I wanted it. But as you can see here, it started creating like a React based application. I guess this is React and Tailwind. And also that it started rendering. The best thing that I like about this is the way it displays individual components. Unlike Claude Artifact, but it also has got the preview that like the cloud artifact and it, this is amazing. Like this is a landing page that you would expect a front end engineer to take a couple of hours to design and get to you. And uh, this is, this is available right now with us. You can go ahead, see the code, whatever you want to do, ask follow up question, download the code if you want, uh, then use it in your local machine, like within VS code or anything that you want. Let's go on with the next design landing page, uh, design a gra gradient based landing page. The gradient background that I usually like, like I used to design a lot with Photoshop back in the day. Background landing page with animations and modern design for a new SaaS application. So I'm also exploring a product idea where uh, you can upload an image and uh, people can select a particular object in that image and then uh, you can just basically segment it, take it out and then download it. So that is a feature that I want to explain. You can upload a picture, then it will help you snap and cut things from the image. That's all I'm giving a, uh, input. I want a gradient based background. That is like my hardcore uh, input here. So it started uh, creating something out of uh, React and uh, Tailwind CSS. And as you can see here, it has chosen really good gradient. And uh, the way it pops up, like the way it creates these things, this is quite amazing. Like clip anything I said, it picked up the icon. There's a beautiful button in the middle. I don't see any, I'm not sure like if there is any animation there. Okay, if there is an animation, cool. Um, and uh, this is excellent. Uh, it, it doesn't have any feature at this point, but this is a front end that I, I should have ideally hired a front end engineer for. The next thing is I don't want like a full page. I want a simple thing. So I want to design a simple contact form. So imagine like you want to get user interest or something, but instead of using Google form, you want something else. Uh, part of your website, maybe not. Uh, contact us where users can add their details to show interest for an upcoming community that I'm building. And uh, I wanted to come up with the own uh, fields. I'm not going to give the fields. So ask users what features they would uh, want to see and also any other uh, feedback or questions that they've got, um, whatever it can think, add it. So I, I didn't give a single field. And the good thing here is that again, um, it I might have designed it in HTML, but it uses React. And uh, without me specifying anything, like I could have said HTML, but yeah, it used React. And I've got the beautiful, not, not not a fancy, but a simple contact form where it has got like the details, that basic details. The next one is I want to give a design inspiration, like Behance landing page screenshot. If you are a Behance uh, contributor, my apologies. Uh, I'm going to use one of the designs. I'm going to take a screenshot of this. And then I'm going to give this screenshot as an input design inspiration and uh, then ask it to generate a new landing page based on that. I don't want it to copy exactly, so I'm going to define my own use case. So please help me design a landing page like this, but I'm giving my specifications. Like I want a testimonial, I want a pricing. Uh, so I want to give the product context as well. So this is a product for AI based SEO focused blog post generator. And uh, this is an idea also I'm exploring. I'm not going to, I'm not sure if I'm going to ship, but I've uh, just given this that's a detail. And as you can see here, it started generating in react. Only thing is to my surprise, it did not preview this. Um, so as you know that until now, everything had a preview and this does not have a preview. So I have a uh, very less idea 
about how good is this uh, and i didn't want to download the code and then put it in my node application and then render it build it and then see so this this was a bummer like i didn't know why this behavior existing but uh, it started explaining me the code it started giving me details about what is there what kind of things that i can do and i wanted it to tell me how to preview it that's what i want to ask so i'm going to say is there a way to see preview of this and i'm expecting it to open the preview window but i think it kind of misunderstood what i wanted and it started thinking that okay i i have a react app maybe i need an html app to locally see this so it started redesigning the entire thing as an html landing page from the react component a react page uh, that it had created it is two things one is it's fascinating the second thing is it's still like room for improvement i'm going to copy the html put it in code pane i don't want to open it in my browser and as i as uh, it is rendering you can see that it's used the same color the copy is there there are some buttons there is a navigation bar um not not a very fancy thing but it is there this is the last message that i've got as you can see here so i have to make use of it like the full use of it so i'm going to try to make the best one that i can possibly design a landing page uh, take inspirations from modern web and behance so using behance in the prompt somehow i felt like it gives me better results this is to sell an ai template with which people can build their own ai saas and also make sure to have a sticky header i used to be a big fan of sticky header i don't think anybody does sticky header at this point contact form at the end and also add some testimonials from real human beings like the actual human beings with ratings i've always loved the ratings part of the website i'm not sure how true it is so it started designing it's using react and tailwind and luckily this time it is going to preview it which is something that i like and as you can see here it started rendering with a nice icon that's another thing that i liked about it it is a lot of things that i do not even tell which claude doesn't do somehow so build your ai saas in minutes transform your ideas into powerful ai driven application with a easy to use template start building watch demo started creating a new uh, section called powerful features picked up the icons picked up the copy then another section called how it works picked up the icons picked up the copy amazing choose your template um, oh there is an error ah oh, it started fixing the error by itself uh, which i don't know if claude has done um but uh, in claude at least like i had to go back and then see again so what our customers okay again again there is an error and uh, there is a minified okay by the time i say that it fixes it we have a pricing page and uh, contact form is coming up okay we have got a contact form as well and the entire website i would have ideally hired somebody on upwork to design this for me but now this entire thing is available for me just within a couple of prompts of back and forth what you're seeing is like after the result of back and forth like what i learned and then finally created it but now you have got the code you can preview it you can download it do anything deploy it on versal one thing i don't understand is why versal is not letting us deploy it at this moment that seems like a no brainer one click deployment maybe that is coming in the future but this is an excellent this is going to make you a 10x front end developer even if you do not know front end let me know what you think i absolutely enjoyed making this video and also playing with this i ran out of credits at this point i'm not buying the subscription uh, everything is a subscription so i'm going to wait until tomorrow to play with it more and uh, if you would like to see me do end to end like build a saas kind of a thing and then deploy it let me know in the comment section see you in another video happy prompting